Hi guys, it's your girl Lady Wendy's and today I'm going to show you how I'm going to cook. This is the Instant Pot Duo Plus 8 quart. So yeah, that's what I'm going to use. And yeah, I'm going to use some beef, okay? And that is ground beef, 500 grams. And I'm going to use some chopped tomatoes. Okay, this comes as 400 grams. I'm going to use 200 grams, okay? Some leftover onions and green pepper. I'm going to use some salt and I'm going to use some ginger. I'm going to use, okay, this is the wrong cover, it's a different spice. And I'm going to use some of this to thicken it up. It's tomato puree. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to put on the switch, okay? And usually, when I put on this switch, sometimes I have to tighten that. Press on that saute, you can choose, that is less. You can choose normal, you can choose more. So more is 30 minutes. I'm going to go for 30 minutes because I want us to speed up, all right? And I'm going to put the ground beef in there, okay? and i'm going to defrost it from here that's the pepper until it goes off literally all right there it begins um it's beginning to do the saute right it must because i don't like to use oil in this because um every time i use oil it's too much oil in my lasagna so i'd rather have less because it produces oil as well yeah so yeah i wouldn't want to use oil to be honest with you i'm gonna take that off Okay, it's okay to touch this and try to take it around. So we're defrosting, guys. It's still ice cubish like, so we're just defrosting right now. And yeah, when it gets soft, it gets soft. So I'm gonna wait for it to get softer than this, and yeah, I'll get back to you. Okay, so um, yeah, we we're still turning this around. Uh, we're trying to defrost it as quickly as possible. Yep. I'm just taking this bit off and turning it onto the other side. Yeah, as you can see, it has enough oil. So I'm not gonna put more, to be honest. And I'll let that go on. Right. Alright guys, so I'm um, just trying to brown this meat because whatever it looks like is exactly what it's going to look like when it's ready from the oven so I'd rather have it brown so that when it's ready it's, a, it's in this colour, okay? That's why I make sure it's brown. Alright, so having gotten it to this stage, I'm going to put some salt, okay, 2.5, alright, okay. So if you want this color from the meat, yeah, that's what you're going to make it look like. Don't leave it pink and then just put it in the oven. It's not going to look any different from that. It's going to be ready but in a different color. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to put some pies that I like. Okay, and it's just a 2.5. Actually, with this, I usually put more than that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm going to spin that. Right. I love that. I'm gonna put this, okay. I wasn't really supposed to put, um, I'm gonna put turmeric, okay. So, yeah, so yeah, there we go. Just a little bit. And at this point, because I'm not using metal, I could just scrub that, um, yeah, a little bit because the edges are really burnt. So we could as well do that too. And I'm gonna put some ginger, right? That's ground ginger. I like the smell of that in my food. Okay. 
I'm gonna put this, yeah, it's such an five spice seasoning. I love that, okay. I'm gonna put some of that and just make it the look I want it to be. And for some reason, um this is not oh, this is white vinegar, okay. It's in that bottle, and I'm gonna spray it because guys, look at that, it's quite burnt, right? okay so anytime i put water that is going to loosen up so easily and i like the taste of the white vinegar in the food especially if there's onions it works very well with onions when you have onions in your food and you put vinegar and chicken oh my god it comes out with very very beautiful smell and last but not least i'm gonna put this okay this is a uh, green pepper yellow pepper a bit of red pepper it's more like leftovers that's why there's a mix and there's onions okay those are white onions so I'm gonna put that in there okay and spin that around I'm not gonna do this for too long because I really want those edges to stop burning I think it's just got into the color that I want it way beyond okay and uh, what's next is so uh, I've got this I'd like to put a little bit okay so I'm gonna put half a cup of this I could have wanted more than that to be honest half a cup is uh, is 125 trust me i want 250 ml so i'm gonna put one cup this makes one cup yeah so two halves of a cup makes one cup of that and i'll show you why i'm measuring it because i'm using an instant pot it's quite different all right it's quite different. and the tomatoes having acid it's going to help with this with this um every time you use an instant pot you're going to get this okay the edges are gonna burn every time you're doing a saute that's something that you should expect I didn't like it at first but I finally accepted that it's, it's got to happen but the food comes out good you know all right when it comes to the look that you really like I'm gonna put a little bit of water because I want the, the bottom to oh it's already gone it's no longer burnt okay that's good because I was working towards that we make sure it's not burnt and we don't want to use metal to do that we're better off using this because it doesn't damage the instant pot stainless steel all right so i'm gonna do that for a while until it looks like i like it and i'll start to cook all right beautiful people this is the puree i just showed you tomato puree so i just put this to make it red that's the look i want for my ground meat so i'm gonna put it there and i might squeeze a little bit more all right okay okay there's a lot of steam but I think I like this look I don't know about you but um it looks beautiful I'll just cook it a little bit more and shortly we'll go to the next step I'm gonna um yeah show you what's next that's one cup remember I put one cup of uh, tomato sauce so that makes it 500 mils which is required as a minimum for the egg quart um, instant pot but do you know what because it's tomatoes and it's not that liquidy I'm gonna um, put a little bit of water just to cover up for any um, anything that could be less all right and that is the little usually because I'm gonna make a, a lasagna if it's more than that it, it just shows up okay um, having seen that I'm gonna stop the saute look at that <laughs> it's that saute okay look at it it's bubbling okay it doesn't look bad at all but I could keep doing that I don't want to do that now because I like the look of it so what I'm gonna do now is I stop the saute button guys oh it stopped there I'm gonna spin that round it's saying off and that's the sound it's making all right 